Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do at home eyelash extensions with the Lashify kit. I have worn these lashes four times now since I've gotten the kit and I'm going to show you a little clip that I recorded before I took the lashes out of the little holders so that you can get a little bit of a better feel for what the kit looks like and what the lashes look like when they're in these little pods. You might be able to see it, hopefully pretty well but yeah so I'll insert that little clip right here so this is the control kit I'm recording this on my phone it's a little bit easier you can choose either black or white when you um, order your control kit and then these are what the gossamers come in I've used both of these multiple times and all I do is slide them back in here um, like you can see, they've been worn, <laughs> but uh, you get two different styles. So I got A12, which are a little bit shorter. And then this longer style is A14. Then you also get um, this double-ended tube right here. This has your bonding liquid, which is more like a black sticky glue that you use for the lashes. You get a glue. And then you have your Lashify tool, which you use for the application. And these little rubber pieces right here are actually removable. So you can take these off if you wish and you'll have a little bit more precision when you're applying them, because you can see. And then you have your glass liquid. This is what takes down the tackiness of the bond and the glue and it actually has a really nice applicator as well. So, you've got a little, um, so you can see you've got a little spoolie and then a little almost like doe foot on the tip as well. All right, so as I mentioned, you can put the lashes back into their little pods and that's what I've done. I've worn, some of them need to be cleaned so I'll, I won't use those, but you do have the ability to put them back in here and I think that does help with storage. Now, the biggest tip I can give you for the longest lasting application is to do this fresh out of the shower. You know, obviously let your face dry and let your eye area dry down, but before you start doing the lashes, do a double cleanse in the shower. So I used um, a foaming facial cleanser. I used the Space Wash from Starface, and I would suggest avoiding anything that's like creamy or balmy in a cleansing product because I do think that interferes with application. So wash your face twice. Don't put any skincare on. Don't put any makeup on. Just have your bare skin so that no products are interfering with the longevity of your lash application. So I'm gonna zoom you in as close as I possibly can. So I've zoomed you in nice and close. First thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes. I think this helps with the application of the bonding liquid. Just because my eyelashes grow straight out and they kind of also point downward. So it just gives me the ability to really get right at the root of my lashes. So on this tube, you have two ends. You have your Whisper Light Flexible Bond, which is clear, uh, and this one I use as more of a glue. And then on the other end, you have your black, I don't even know what they call this. I call this the bonding part, but this is a little tiny brush that you're going to use to apply to the base of your lashes and lightly throughout the lengths. This is what's going to get the gossamers to really adhere and stick to your lashes. So, taking this first, and I also suggest, I did mention that the mirror in the kit is a little bit warped to my liking. It just kind of makes me nauseous to use that one. So, I use just a little handheld mirror. This brush actually has more of a triangular shape. So, what I would suggest is using the flat side to apply the product towards the base of the lash and then use the point of the triangular shaped brush to lightly run it throughout the lengths. Using the flat end, we're gonna run it lightly around the base of the lashes and then I'm just gonna lightly run it through 
the lengths. Just like that. Do the same thing on the other eye and don't overdo it with this product. You don't need a lot. In fact, if you use too much, it doesn't help make the lashes stick any longer. So don't go overboard with it. Now, once you have the even application of the product on your lashes, you're gonna let this dry for about two minutes. You can go sit in front of a fan or just drink your coffee, but we're not gonna go in with the lash application right away. We're gonna give the product some time to really dry down and it's gonna be tacky still. It's not gonna dry out to where it doesn't work anymore, so don't worry about that. Just give it the adequate amount of time to set down so that it properly adheres to the gossamers. I'm going to start with the outer corners of my lashes, and for the outer corners, I like using the A14 style. These are a little bit longer, so they complement the outer corner a little bit better, in my opinion. So these easily slide out of, let's get you to focus, lady. So the customers easily slide out. All you have to do is gently give it a little bit of a tug. Now what I like to do is take the Whisper Light Flexible Bond, which is the white liquid. It has this really nice fine point. And just along the top end of the spine of the lash, I do a really light coat of this. And you can see it on the lash, it's white. You wanna wait just a couple seconds until this starts getting a little bit clear and then you know it's ready to be applied on the outer corner. So I take my little applicator tool. I like using the rounded side so I can have a little bit more control. I pick up the lash like this and then right on that outer corner, I'm gonna press the lash in place on the underside of my eye. And I like using the little back end of the tool as well. I feel like it just helps give you a little bit of precision and really push it onto your lash. I don't put it on the waterline. I put it just above the root of my lash. I find that if I put it too close to the waterline, it just doesn't last as long. And then it also interferes with uh, my lashes, I lose more. Whereas if I put it like just above the waterline on my actual lash and not at the root, I don't lose any lashes when they fall off. So there is the first A14 gossamer right there on the outer corner. And then I just take my little tool and I clamp it down. I'm gonna prepare another A14. I just put some of the Whisper Light, the bond, right on the spine of the lash. Again, just gonna wait a couple of moments for this to get a little bit more tacky. But honestly, if you put this lash on while it's still too white and too wet, it's not gonna work. Um, the lash will move around and it won't cling as well. So definitely never go in prematurely while that bond is still white. It helps if you kinda come in from underneath so you can really see. So I hold my mirror below my face. And then I just use the end of the applicator to get it exactly where I want it. And then take that rubber side and fuse it. I'm gonna prepare another A14 lash, just taking that bond. We got that little A14 gossamer and we're gonna stick that right next to the other one. And I actually like leaving a little bit of space in between them, just the space about like, you know, two eyelashes worth. That way the spines of each lash don't touch each other. And I found that when I was putting the lashes too close together on each eye, they would lift a little bit easier. Whereas when I leave just the tiniest amount of space in between them, they don't lift. And then I'm gonna take my rubber end and fuse that right in place. And then for the front part of my lashes, I do only A12 because the really long ones just look a little bit freaky on me when they're too close to the center of my eyes. So for these front bits, I don't put any Whisper Light Bond on. I just go in with the plain gossamer and stick it to the base of my lash. And you'll see they will just stick on their own. And then you take your little fuser and 
just push it through. My eyes always start watering when I do this. I don't know why. We're gonna do the same thing on this eye. And then fuse it. I'm gonna do one more on each eye. So, now that I have all my lashes on, I take the glass liquid, and all you do is run this over your lashes, and it takes away the tacky feeling on the, like how the, the glue kind of leaves your lashes feeling a little bit tacky. I just generously run this on the front, like this, just kind of come up on the eyelid and pull through. Just like this. And then light coats underneath. So they're a little bit wet from the glass product right now, so they look like they're clumping together. But I'm going to let this dry down and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you what they look like when they're finally dry. Just a couple other things I wanted to mention was that I did try the Kiss Falscara set as well, which is supposed to be really similar to the Lashify system. I didn't have much luck with the Kiss Falscara set because I found that the spine on each of the little cluster lashes was a little bit too thick. So it really irritated my eye. I wasn't able to wear it for more than five hours and then I wanted to take it off. Whereas with the Lashify lashes, I've worn them, the longest has been five nights, six days, but by the sixth day, I wanted to take them off and I had lost one of the gossamers. It had fallen off. Uh, midday or in the middle of the night I don't really know but by the nighttime when I was getting ready to remove my makeup I noticed that I was missing a lash so longest I've gotten them to last for myself five nights I typically do not wear waterproof mascara whenever I'm using them if you do wear waterproof mascara it's gonna be really difficult to remove without compromising the bond that you have on your lashes. So to really increase the longevity and get them to last as long as possible, I would just suggest either wearing no mascara at all, or if you do want to wear a little bit of mascara, make sure it's a water soluble formula that you can easily break down. I never use cleansing oils or cleansing balms around my eye area when I do have the lashes on and I do gently always make sure to wash them with a little bit of facial cleanser because you don't want to avoid washing your eyes because then you're just going to have you know gunk and your eyes won't be washed. So it is still important to make sure that you gently wash around your eye area and the lashes as well. You can also help increase the longevity of your lashes by just taking your fuse tool like morning and night and just fusing them down every so often that's what I like to do like you know I just apply them but all you do is go right at the base and then through the lengths with your fuse tool and really just try to reinforce that bond and keep the lashes in place as long as possible but my biggest tip for you to increase longevity Try to go easy on the waterproof eye makeup that you wear because you're gonna have to use something that's gonna be oily or balmy to remove it and that's really what's gonna compromise the bonding technique that you've done the most. So no waterproof eye mascara, no waterproof eyeshadows, nothing that's really gonna be difficult to remove just so that you can wear them for as long as possible. But I love them, I think they look super natural and I just thought they'd be fun to try. Uh, definitely increasing the length of your lashes way more than a lash serum could, but I really like them. I think they look natural, and I'll link the lash kit and the lashes that I have in my kit down below. I actually ordered two refills, so I'm planning on keeping up with this for some time, and I think it'd be great for events or photos or just when you want like a little bit more drama on the eyes but don't want to have to get you know, full-blown lash extensions. So, I will see you in my next video. Remember, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I'll help you as best as I can, but I am in no means a Lashify expert yet. I've only done it, you know, a handful of times, but so far really liking it and did want to share my experience with you.